So we're in the witchery in Edinburgh at the moment, and we were married in 2013 at Edinburgh Castle, and we stayed at the witchery on a wedding night in a suite called the Armory Suite. And when we stayed there, it was interesting because it's very gothic and it looks amazing, but we didn't feel anything particularly unnerving about the room. I didn't sleep that well, I have to say. I uh, woke up quite a lot, quite restless. Kind of feeling that maybe there was somebody about, but nothing too much. So, on the second day, the concierge came down and said our friends have got together and paid for you to have a second night for this treat, which was brilliant. And so we had our second night there. But the second night is completely different. Um, there was a strange foreboding in the room. And in the middle of the night, I went up to get a cup of tea, and I made tea, and I came back along the spoon corridor that separated the kitchen and the bedroom. And when I got to the bedroom door, I was trying to open it with my elbow, and I was suddenly aware of a noise of a dog scratching me loudly on the stone floor. Very loud scraping sound. So I froze, and I couldn't work out where it was coming from, because of course there was nothing to see. And around the corner came a dog and came towards me very, very quickly. But this all happened in a matter of seconds. Uh, it was an Irish wolfhound, one of my favourite dogs, in fact, but a really tall, skinny, grey dog. And it just trotted towards me, or loped towards me as they do, stopped about three foot away and just vanished into thin air. And I uh, threw some of that tea up in the air, I have to say, <laughs> got a bit of a shock. Came back at the bedroom and my wife was still sleeping, so I didn't really say anything about it at all till the morning. And when I told her about it, she was a bit freaked out and said that during the night she woke up and saw someone standing at the foot of the bed in the dark looking at her. So we had to ask the concierge, of course, was the building haunted? And he said, well, we're not really meant to talk about it, but we've all had experiences in the various suites. It's a very, very old building, dating from the 1500s. He said that we've had various experiences there, and that includes people cleaning the room, coming back with teas and coffees, and someone having laying on the bed in the interim and creating this mean shape, this little dent on the bedclothes. He said that he booked in a couple from China one day, this particular guy, and when they arrived back at the reception after about half an hour and said that they wanted another room, so they couldn't stay in the room, there was something about the room, awful, awful feeling. Um, so it's got this history, and I dare say there's lots of other stories will turn up about it. But I did see that dog, and it was pretty scary. Um, strangely enough, I was doing a tour here probably about six months ago, and one of the ladies came to tour, said she was a psychic, and I told her about that particular event, and she said, do you know why the dog's there? It's there because there's a hat that sits on a sideboard in the bedroom, and the hat belonged to the dog's master and that's why it hangs around there now and then. Now that's true, there was three hats there. In fact, I was trying them on for a laugh. She would not have known that. There's no way she would have known that. So that's what she said. Um, it's a pretty haunted area, I would imagine. Lots of people died outside, there's lots of witch burnings. So it's not got a pleasant history in the area. But it is a great place to stay. It's called the Witchery in Edinburgh.